welcome to the first how-to video of M Squared App Reviews. Before we get started, I'd like to introduce the channel to the YouTube community. M Squared is made up of my friend and I who wanted to help people decide what apps to buy, or if you don't know if this product's good, you can ask us to review it, and we will probably review it because we don't have many requests right now because we just got started. So now to get to the main video. This tutorial is how to get your iPod Touch or iPhone screen to be shared with your computer screen. This is a well-known and simple technique, but it's always good to have more videos about it on YouTube. Now, this is the vac Mac version. If you would like a PC version, please PM us, comment, or email us at mmreviewers at gmail.com. We'll put an annotation there if you didn't catch it. This is the way with the most simplicity. First, you'll need to download Demo God to your computer, not your iPod. <laughs> the link will be in the description. Once you've got this on your computer, please go to your iPod Touch or iPhone, which must be jailbroken. Neither go to Cydia or Rock. Once there, go to the search function and look up screen splitter. Spelled S C R E E N S P L I T R. I'll put that in as an annotation in just in case you're still wondering. Okay, now once you've installed screen splitter, go to your iPod or iPhone's home screen and search for the screen splitter icon. Press it once, and after a few seconds, it should lead you back to your home screen with the word on on top of the screen splitter icon. Now open up Demo God on your computer, and you will see an image of an iPhone. In that iPhone, you will see a list of some iPhones that were detected. Your iPod Touch or iPhone should appear in your, uh, if you're in the same Wi-Fi network and have followed the earlier instructions. On Demo God, click on the name of your iPod Touch or iPhone, and your iPod connection of your computer and iDevice. Once accepted, it will take approximately one to three seconds to get the image of your iDevice on your computer. And you can either view your iDevice in its normal vertical shape, or if you want to show something in landscape mode, you can go to the window at the top of your screen and so then select Rotate iPhone. It's a little laggy, as you probably noticed throughout this tutorial, but a good way to record some iPhone how-tos or whatever may be your reason. Comment if you have any questions, and PM us or email us if you want a specific product, program, app review, or how-to. Thanks for watching M Squared's first how-to video, and please comment, rate, and subscribe.